when we talk about strategic narrative, we think about the mission and the vision of the company, the organization. And we often refer to the fact that the leaders who are good at building narrative power for their organizations are visionary leaders. Visionary leaders don't just have a great vision for the organization. They also have a defined, precise sense for how to accomplish this vision. And one of the crucial, most important ways to accomplish your vision is to get organized, is to practice two important things. First of all, agile planning, the creation and management or development of a plan that helps you accomplish your goals, reach your targets with flexibility, with agility. And the second thing is healthy productivity. And one of the core aspects of healthy productivity is to know how to organize and plan your time. And for this, I often talk about zero-based time budget, referring to a zero-based budget, which is a financial management concept applied to time management. And to show you how I do this in practice, I'm going to show you my uh, inside my journal. So I do use a journal called a best self journal. There it is. I've, I've, sh I've shared it with you in other videos. And uh, on Monday, I always start my week with a plan. There it is. It's Monday today. And this is a plan for the rest of the week. Uh, on this plan, you can see uh, the type of activities that I, I'm planning on spending time on this week and the details of these activities and how much time I am intending to spend for each. This week, I'm planning on working 48 uh, hours and, and 15 minutes. So this is how I start my week. I do this planning typically on Sunday night so that I can hit the ground running on Monday morning. But sometimes, as, a, as like today, I'm, I'm a little, I was a little sick over the weekend, so I had to rest and I couldn't uh, attend to my planning session on Sunday night. So I did this uh, this morning. It usually takes me about an hour. It consists of reviewing what I did the week before and planning the now the new week and setting my intentions for how I'm going to go about achieving my most important uh, tasks. I use the word intention because planning is all about intentionality. Just as you're planning your, your budget and you have the intentions to, um, to spend your money uh, in, a, in, a, in a good way, to be a good steward of your money so that you can attract more money, time management to me is the same. You should be a good steward of your time and managing your time with intention is, is the way the way I practice it, what I recommend that you practice. And when you take, when you invest a little bit of time upfront, you avoid jumping into the first thing that comes to mind with 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 fear, with with a sense of um, of uh, scarcity, with overwhelm, uh, with you know nervousness and so on. Invest a bit of time. At the beginning of a period, whether that period is the day, the day. So I also plan each of my day. You see in this journal, you can see that uh, there is a spot for uh, for each day of the week. Let me show you an example of what my day. Look, no, this is this is me. So here I can plan my day, you know, by, by blocks and my targets, and um, and here are my insights, my my reflections, what comes to mind throughout the day. So spend a bit of time um, planning the beginning of each person, whether it is a day or even an hour. If you're planning on spending an hour doing something and uh, entering a meeting, set your intention for this, for this time, whether it's the week, the month, or the year, and you're going to see uh, great results. I've been practicing uh, this approach for many, many years, and uh, I want to show you just uh, what the last three years look like hey they look like the stack of journals i've been using since this is just the last three years but i have more journals uh sitting here in one of my closets um right so that's that's why i care about planning just like you're steering um the your business as a boat 
every responsible captain, every yeah, every every captain with a with a bit of awareness, intention, and conscious holds a journal steadily with discipline and writes down the position of the ship, what happened, uh, the great moments and the problems that occur, the storms, the sunny days, and keeps track of how the ship is doing so that it so that we can take the ship on longer journeys with uh, safety. And the same is true for your business. If your goal is to grow narrative power for your business, if, you, if, you, if your goal is to build a business that has higher impact, higher efficiency, that attracts the right clients, that attracts the right team members in the long run, that has an impact that goes you know, beyond your, 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 your dreams, that wants to stand out in the market you can't just rely on great wishes you can't just have a wishbone you have to have a backbone and one of the backbones is to plan your time with the approach that i just shared with you which i called zero based time budget this is a core element of building narrative power with the strategic narrative methodology I hope this helps. I hope this motivates you. I hope this inspires you to start now if you don't have a system like this one or to improve your system. Uh, this is just one layer of my systems. This is the paper, the paper layer of my system. But I also have other layers in that system that I'll show you um, if you want in other videos. I track my time in a tracking, in a time tracking app. I have data now in the same tracking app since 2018. And then I have other data before, but it was for other businesses. So I've been doing this consistently for now uh, five years, more than five years. And it will be it will be six years pretty soon. And I also have, um, so I've had that tracking app. I also use a, a calendar uh, application called Outlook, you know, very mainstream. But if you use Google Doc, Google Google Calendar is great, or or other calendar or or Apple Calendar or or Microsoft or Microsoft actually the the app is Outlook. And then I also use a simple, simple, simple Google Sheet for to to plan my whole year and my quarter. So you know there are digital comp components to that system. Build your own system if you if you're interested in knowing my system. Ask me. The questions I you know reach out to me I'll be happy to share with you how I use it maybe one day I'll do a, or soon I'll do a, if I get excited about this topic I'll do a course on healthy productivity and agile planning so that you can see uh, the inside and the behind the curtains of that system wish you good luck start planning today